The city of Rome began in 753 BC as a small settlement along the Tiber River in what is Italy today. Over time, Rome grew into an empire that controlled the entire Mediterranean region, becoming one of the greatest empires the world has ever known. The Romans founded the world's first republic, which means thing of the people. Under the republic, Roman citizens could vote for some of their leaders. The most powerful governing body of the republic was the Senate, which created the laws that governed the Romans. The Romans created a large Senate of 100 to 400 or more members to prevent any single person from gaining too much power. In the 3rd and 2nd centuries BC, Rome expanded by conquering other lands. It was the Senate that sent out armies, made treaties, and organized new territories. Rome soon controlled Spain, its first possession outside Italy. Next came Greece. And as the Republic continued to grow, riches flooded into Rome from trade and conquered lands. Some Romans became tremendously wealthy, and a gap grew between the rich and the poor. Leaders grew corrupt, and money and military strength became increasingly linked with politics. The armies became more loyal to the generals who paid them than to the leaders of the Republic. By the first century BC, the Republic was in chaos. Soon, rival generals were marching their armies into Rome, and civil war broke out. When the fighting ended in 47 BC, a general named Julius Caesar controlled the city and the empire. Caesar used his power to help the poor and bring new territories under Roman rule. He influenced many Romans, causing them to question the value of the old republic. As Caesar's power grew, many senators felt that he was turning Rome into a monarchy, making himself king. They wanted to stop Caesar because they saw him as a threat to their own power. In 44 BC, a group of these senators took matters into their own hands and killed Caesar. Rome plunged into another civil war, one that raged for 14 years. Finally, in 31 BC, Octavian Caesar, Julius' adopted son, emerged victorious. Octavian quickly won over the Senate and took the title Augustus, or Exalted One. Although not officially proclaimed, the Roman Republic had ended. In its place was a new structure, the Roman Empire. Augustus was its first emperor. Augustus brought stability to Rome. He reduced the number of Roman armies and paid the soldiers well to ensure their loyalty. He opened membership in the Senate to all male citizens, not just those from Rome's ruling families. And the citizens of the empire enjoyed more rights and better lives than ever before. Augustus ushered in a golden age that became known as the Pax Romana, or Roman peace. During this 200 year period, the Roman Empire became one great nation under the control of Rome's emperors. Soon after the Pax Romana began, a new religion appeared in the eastern part of the empire, Christianity. Christians were a thorn in the side of the emperors. Unlike other Roman subjects, they refused to worship the Roman gods and the emperor. Christians were repeatedly persecuted by Roman emperors for 300 years. But the religion appealed to many of the poor and oppressed people of the empire, and it slowly spread despite the persecution. Eventually, the Roman Emperor Constantine embraced Christianity and used it to help reunite the empire. Although Rome finally fell in 8476, its literature, laws, arts, and architecture helped shape European civilization, and they still influence the world today.